In 2013, a designer in Waco, Texas named Joanna Gaines was running a local business and renovating houses with her husband Chip when she got a cold call from a television producer who liked Joanna's style. That call led to the HGTV show Fixer Upper, where the charming couple transformed homes and spent five seasons at or near the very top of the cable television ratings. Chip and Joanna have built something of an empire with their Magnolia lifestyle brand and sparked a renaissance in the city where they live. In 2013, the year before Fixer Upper premiered, Waco welcomed just over 500,000 visitors. Last year, that number was nearly 3 million, many of whom came from across the country to visit the Magnolia silos. Now, Chip and Joanna are taking on their biggest project yet, turning an old 53,000 square foot building into a hotel for all those fans. Chip, Joanna, and I got together in the space that will be the hotel ballroom for a Sunday sit down. And yes, demo day. What's today? Demo day. This whole thing's got to be demoed. You literally just kind of have to pop these things a few times from the bottom. Okay. And you'll kind of start to see it. This thing starts coming wow. loose. Get underneath this thing. Yeah. Use your legs, Ooh. not your back. Low it's base. All you. There you go. Low base. There you go. Yeah! Chip and Joanna Gaines love a fixer-upper. But the nearly century-old and largely abandoned Grand Karam Shrine Building in Waco gives the term new meaning. Tell me about, Joanna, what you saw in this place, because this is a big leap. Yeah, and I would start with what Chip saw in this place. <laughs> Chip loved this building for years, and I'm like, ah, uh, I don't know, it's yeah. like a big building. I'm like, let's just stick with houses. <laughs> I really was like, it scares me. It just feels kind of haunted a little bit. Turns out that the more haunted the property is, the, the better deal you that get. That is, and he was like, Joe, Quite the advantage. it's a Smart. great deal. Finally, I walked in one day. He takes me up to this ballroom, and I could see it. I could see the history. Um, and so after that day, it's like, okay, I'm all in. I would argue Joe and I kind of shy away from, I don't want to say the easy stuff, because surely we're not stupid, right? <laughs> A little bit of a climber, so uh, uh -oh. better with me. There we go. There, now we're now we got something. So you drop out these uh, drop ceilings. Uh -huh. You see the ceiling as opposed to the oh, drop ceiling. Oh yeah, you gonna go all this the way really up. Really cool wood. Wow. So literally, you buy yourself about four feet. Chip grew up in Colleyville, Texas, and learned from his father the value of hard work and getting a little dirty. His first business enterprise was selling juice boxes to kids at summer camp. Joanna was born in Kansas and raised there with her two sisters. The family moved every few years for her father's job with Firestone Tires, eventually landing in Waco. Both Chip and Joanna attended Baylor University in Waco, but they never met during college. Then one day, Chip walked into the tire shop owned by Joanna's dad to get his brakes fixed. They had a family photo like some family businesses sure. do behind the uh, counter. Right. right. And there were these beautiful three Stevens daughters. And I would just look at this family photo and be like, <laughs> man, if I could find any three of these young <laughs> ladies, I would just be like the happiest person on the planet. Now, what did you think, Joanna, when he says, I saw your picture on the wall and I just had I to have just you? Call me. <laughs> You're just a creeper. The first thing he said to me, because I did these local commercials for my dad. At Jerry Stevens Firestone, we promise to care. At one point, I had the line of like, we'll even change your lug nest for you. <laughs> <laughs> and, and all the radio stations That's when you want his would heart. play it and be like, I think she just said lug nuts. So funny, right when you said that, I got the chills. One day I was walking out, and he's walking in, and we just bump into each other. And he was like, hey, you're that girl in the commercials. Was like a, I thought and I was right off the bat, I'm like, oh, Lord, I mean, you talk about a weirdo. real kid. Chip and Joanna were married in 2003. The same year, Joanna opened her first design shop while the couple renovated houses in Waco. Almost a decade later, Joanna's small design blog caught the attention of a television producer who called asking if she could send a film crew to see if her hunch was right that the couple would make good TV. And so I called Chip, and this is a true story. He said, do not call that person back. 
it's a scam. scam. How much did they say you have to pay for them to film you? Sad. And I was like, I don't think they. <laughs> this is sad. Think it's a scam. You talk about like my instincts because I'm like a live or die by my yeah. instincts thing. So this building, I've got these gut instincts. You watch, it'll play out this way. I mean, for the biggest opportunity <laughs> of our life, it was like a dumb and dumber up. moment. <laughs> <laughs> like I think we're gonna go that way. Oh, I mean, I was adamant, and Joe was like, I think she's telling the truth. I was like, babe, she didn't say anything about sending her five thousand dollars in advance because I went I'll, I'll, honestly in all honesty in high school I was reached out by like this this uh, face shot what, do you, what would you call it oh, like, like a, a headshot yeah, yeah head like shot a modeling thing. agency and so I went to the mall, the mall. Oh I didn't gosh. know I go they take pictures of you in your underwear Babe. and then at the end of this this production yeah. which you think like you're so hot that you're gonna get this like <laughs> opportunity of a lifetime I yeah. was hot and so when you get to the end of it then yeah. they're like well five hundred dollars today and then equal payments of five hundred dollars for you know three months and I was positive that these two things were somehow synonymous Joanna convinced chip the offer was real and the production crew came to Waco but the TV rookies were convinced they had blown their tryout. If there's anything to do with the real estate market, I'm oh, sorry. We do it all. She designs them. <laughs> it's a crazy thing, I have to imagine, for them to put a camera in front of you and say, okay, be TV stars. Dude. Be funny, be charming. He was the and worst. And do it on command. He was the worst. I had an actual phobia of cameras. And this dude rolled up with these big cameras like this, and this red light pops he on. He shuts off. And I mean, it was like a Volkswagen on this guy's shoulder. And he was like, hey, tell me your name. And I was like, I mean, it was just like. He, I thought he was joking. I was scared it's to Chip. death. It's Right. It got better from there. And executives at HGTV saw something they liked. That pilot episode launched five seasons of a phenomenon that ranked among the highest rated shows on cable television. This is awesome! Are you able to put your finger, Joanna, on why it took off the way it did? No. I, I can't. I, really, I mean, you're gorgeous, no, so that might be that's something. That's not something. If I were at home watching television, I'd watch a show with you. Well, because you were that creeper who loved the three <laughs> sisters. <laughs> There's just hope in the show. There's the hope of seeing what it becomes and not just the house. I think it's just, Here, you know, how maybe we problem solve to together. Kitchen. What about you, Chip? Have you thought about it at all? I mean, I would argue if it's not her being hot, then it must be me. Uh, Weirdo. You being hot? Or just you in general? Just me in general. Yeah, back in <laughs> high school, back when I did that headshot thing. Wait. Absolutely. Oh, back to the me, mall. Me. Yeah. You're so weird. But now I'm pretty I self aware. I I've seen myself in, in the in the in the full length mirror, and I'm like, no way is anybody <laughs> tuning into this because I'm. Hot.